Johnny Ianson. BBC Radio Leeds. So the National Media Museum in Bradford will not close. That's what MPs from Bradford have said at a meeting with the Culture Secretary last night. There had been fears that the Media Museum in Bradford, the Media Museum, uh, sorry, the Museum of Science and Industry in Manchester and the National Railway Museum in York could close because of government spending cuts, but that's now emerged, that the cuts will be less severe first thoughts. Last night, MPs from Bradford met with the Culture Secretary who assured them the museum would remain open. Bradford East MP David Ward was one of those MPs. David, welcome to the show. Uh, Good morning, Johnny. You must be fairly res- re- relieved this morning because you staked your job on keeping the, the museum open, didn't you? Well, what I said was that uh, I say the political equivalent of it, I'd eat my hat because I couldn't believe that the political will was there to to close the museum, and that was confirmed last night by the minister, who said it was simply unacceptable uh, for the muse- museum to close. Uh, I always suspected it, but it was great to have it confirmed. How and why did the government guarantee the National Media Museum yet didn't talk about the likes of the Railway Museum in York? Well, we were there to talk about Bradford. That was our job. And so we, we weren't really t- talking on the uh, broader terms. Um, but I think that um, the there are financial difficulties which the museum group as a whole face, and we all accept that. And there's quite a lot of work to do, still to do. There is a challenge there to find the necessary funding. Um, but at least it will have the time to do that and the immediate uh, death of the museum um, has been now clearly stated by the um, minister, and that's the crucial thing. It has to be a political decision at, decision at the end of the day, and the minister has said that, that the death of the museum is simply not to be contemplated. As you said, it's a science museum group that runs these collection of museums. Now, does that mean that the government is going to intervene specifically in the Bradford Media Museum, for instance, providing funding specifically for the Media Museum to keep its future safe? Well, the, the really the funding issue is one that uh, there was a, a, a relatively small deficit in 2011-12, but we are talking about looking forward, and, and this, I guess, it's all really overshadowed by the comprehensive spending review, which is coming up very, very shortly. Uh, and this was possibly a way of the senior managers within the museum group of saying, um, sending a, a f- firing across the bows of the ship, if you wish, and saying that there are few, future difficulties if we do not do something. We are willing to accept that. We know that the council and um, the local community, uh, maybe Bradford University and others need to be far more involved in the Bradford uh, Media Museum. Um, but we can do that. We can take on that challenge and, and sure we can rise to it, but uh, it is not going to close. George Galloway last night described this as people power, but really be honest with me, David, is this MP power and is this lobbying power by a very powerful group, i.e. the the Media Museum Group? Well, <clears throat> there is, of course, always a suspicion that this was uh, someone trying to get the retaliation in early or, or first because... Um, there was no, I am convinced right from day one, and if you remember I said let's just slow down on this because I was not aware of the political will to close the museum, I never was, and that's why it was so crucial last night to get the minister's response on this, not the senior manager within the museum group but the minister, and the minister said it is simply unacceptable and the good news, uh, and I did push for this um, this isn't just uh, about spilt milk. It is really a, a very crucial that the minister said that he regretted the alarm that had been caused. I thought that was uh, very big of him. Just finally, David, what needs to happen, though, with the future? Uh, OK, you, you say about political will, but it does come down to the brass tax of finances, doesn't it? Are we going to look at future investment from other areas? I spoke to Bradford Council yesterday. They wouldn't be drawn on whether they put money into the museum, but it can't carry on as it is at the moment financially, can it? No, and it, and it needs to change anyway, Johnny. And, and most people, I think, will tell you that they think it's possibly got a bit tired. It maybe needs to refocus and refresh itself. It certainly needs to have a greater science uh, uh, focus, in my view. It is a national science museum, and maybe it's just drifted away from its original remit. We can do all of those things. We've now got the time to do that. And if we can get enough people who are interested in this now, uh, we can make it work. Bradford East MP David Ward, thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning on BBC Radio Leeds.